remember all of those stories we've been reporting on about racism and bigotry at airlines, the lawsuits that have been filed against um, athletes, uh, uh, been filed by athletes against the airline, been filed by judges against airlines. Well, Atlanta Black Star reminded us of this one. Here it is. That one. Let me see. Now you talk to her. She's got family and nurse. It's okay. So we're not going to do that. So here's your two options. You can take the head off, like Clinton told you to do, which I had told him to tell you, or you'll be off the flight. Okay. Can you tell me now. Which, tell me now which one it is. All right, relax, sir. You just got here. You, can I respond? Relax. Can you tell me where that's posted? How would I have known that? I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. And Delta has guidelines, and I don't have to explain to you. You can take it off, or you can leave the airport. It is inappropriate. I'm not going to take vulgar language on the phone. Okay. Verbal or written. Okay. You understand? Do you understand the two options? Yeah, I heard you, sir. No, no. Do you understand it? I said I heard you. Do you understand it? Y'all hear this? Do you understand what two options Wait, are? I'm not going to ruin your birthday. I'm not going to ruin your birthday. Then you point and don't point your finger at us. Or you leave. Don't point your finger at us. You got it? Don't point your finger at us. Okay. So which is it? Tell me now, which is it? Tell you what, the head is off. There's nothing to tell you. The head is right here in my lap. For the entire flight. The head is in my lap. For the entire flight. It will not be the worn the entire head flight. Head is in my lap. I didn't answer that. I actually have more video. Now you clearly see the hat has been removed. The hat was already removed when the encounter started. He says, do you understand me? She says, I hear you. But he wants her to specifically say the words that he's mandating. He then says he doesn't. He does not have to explain policy uh, incorrect, not according to Delta. Delta says you do have to explain policy when requested, because this allows for the customer to fully engage in the understanding, mutual understanding of the policy. There's more. Here it is. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need one percent of the viewers. To become a paid member, so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. The hat is in my lap. Tell me. You asked me to take the hat off. The hat's no, in my tell lap. Me, tell me, it's off the entire flight. The hat's in my lap. One thousand one, one thousand two. I got six kids. I raised ten kids. I know better. The hat. I'm not a child, sir. The hat is in my lap. Okay. So you agree not to wear it or post that hat the entire flight. Is that correct? Post so the hat. Wait. The hat's in my lap. In your past. You asked me to take the hat off. The hat's in my lap. We have an agreement. The hat's in my lap. Okay, I can go up, make a phone call, and have a nice day. You can go to America or somebody else. The hat is in my lap. I need your word. Just say your word. word for what, sir? You playing games? The hat's in my lap. You ask me to take it off. I take it off. I, I don't want to have you wear it airborne and have a problem with it. But who's gonna put it back on? The hat's in my lap. You would. You don't. What do you know me from? Who would put that back on? Because you didn't give me your word. Okay, I've said enough. You know what? You didn't give me your word. You get to a flight attendant, and I'll just go up and have the red coats come down and TSA come down. Because we're not going to do it. Do what? The head is in my lap. I want your word. What are you talking about? What is happening right now? I want you to tell me you're not going to wear it the entire flight. My, my, my. I don't know how I missed this back when it happened. Um, it wasn't that long ago, but it's part of the tapestry that we have seen recently in particular on airlines. Put them up full mass here. I got the background. All right, great reporting by Atlanta Black Star. A resurfaced video that was recently reposted and reshared thousands of times showing a Delta Airlines pilot confronting a female passenger and demanding she remove a hat with profanity written on it. The video originally posted in 2020 shows the pilot approaching a seated passenger telling her that her hat is not allowed on the flight because of the vulgar language. He demands that she keep it off her head for the entirety of the flight or risk being escorted from the plane. Quote, please tell me where that's posted. How could I have known that? End quote. Quote, I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. Delta has guidelines and I don't have to explain them to you. The pilot tells the woman. You can take it off or you can leave the airplane. It is inappropriate. And I'm not going to take vulgar language on the flight. He has referencing base, the reference, referencing the baseball style cap in the woman's possession with the word F on it. 
pilot asked, do you understand? Yeah, I heard you, sir. The woman replies. The woman complies and removes the hat, but the Delta pilot continues to question whether she understands his directive. You got it? The pilot says with his finger pointed at the woman. Don't point your finger at us, the woman states. Okay, so which is it? Tell me now. The captain responds, tell you what? The hat is off. There's nothing to tell you, the woman answers back. And here's the part that shows you, shows me, shows the world. He is talking to her like a child. He says, uh, she says, the hat is right in my lap, okay? Right here in my lap, she adds. Pointing the camera down so that there's verification. This is what the hat is, it's off my head. Tell me it's off for the tire flight. Now, now you want her to do something else, okay? The pilot asks. Then he says, I got six kids, I raised 10, I raised 10 kids, I know better. He patronizes. She says, I'm not a child, sir, the hat is in my lap. A part of the video showing only one minute of the interaction was recently reposted to X and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh, it ends obviously by the pilot continuing uh, to question uh, the individual. The longer videos of the interaction show the pilot threatening to call TSA to remove the woman unless she promises not to put the hat back on. It's unclear whether she was penalized or removed from the plane. There were mixed feelings about this, obviously. According to Delta's contract of carriage updated on March 2000, 2024, the airline may refuse to transport or remove passengers from its aircraft when a passenger's conduct, entire hygiene, or odor creates an unreasonable risk of offense or annoyance to other passengers. We don't have any evidence that a passenger complained. Um, the pilot told the woman that he directed uh, flight attendants to order her to remove the hat after seeing her on board the plane with it. Uh, when he approached her, he told her there were families on board and that the cat was inappropriate. Now, everything seems to be understandable. I think the woman even understood once it was explained, but what doesn't make sense to me is the captain. I don't understand his actions. Number one, of course you explain policy, this is a customer. This is a paying customer on an airline. You work for a corporation. The individual has requested articulation of the policy. If Delta has a policy, sir, you can tell them where to find it at the website of Delta. It should be clearly listed. In addition to that, once the hat was off, why patronize this individual as if you are a judge that's swearing in someone under oath? That is insane. You're gonna kick her off because she didn't give you her word? Sir, I don't know Delta policy, but I guarantee you that's not in it for sure. All right, my brother, <laughs> it, it takes an understandable request, right? It's an understandable request. And the woman seems to understand it once she clarifies, she takes the hat off and says, okay, sir, the hat is off. Well, a couple what of things. Happened? I mean, I, I, look, I've seen all kinds of vulgarities on hats and yeah. shirts and people that have said things on airplanes. I didn't realize that the airlines have the power to sort of remove somebody because they have an F-bomb somewhere. But OK, let's assume they do. And that's the policy. And that's fine. There's so many ways that the captain and I think the flight attendants could have handled this in a more mature, professional way. You never humiliate anybody that you work with, somebody in your classroom, a, a neighbor in front of other people. You pull them aside and you say, hey, why don't you come up to the cockpit? I want to talk to you about something. And you do it privately, say, look, you know, there's some there's some families on this flight. I think it might be a little offensive to some of them. Do you mind? Let's can we talk about your hat? Is it possible you can take it off? And you have a reasonable conversation because you treat the person first with respect. But right. when you go in guns blazing and accusing somebody right from the start, you are setting yourself up for one of these confrontations and you're setting yourself up for being described rightfully as a racist, as somebody who has no understanding for how humanity actually works. And so look, maybe her hat was offensive, but there's so many different ways that the airline could have handled this to diffuse the situation, to get her to see, yes, of course, I'll take the hat off. I didn't realize that this is a problem. And then you're done with this. But now Delta has a huge problem on its hands. Yeah, yeah and it seems to be ongoing. And that's the issue of why it was brought back in the first place.